Uh, how's it going, guys? I'm starting the recording because this lady is now talking to me. Where are my manners? I'm Ross of Norvalo. My husband Gillen has requested that I find you and ask if you'd assist him. Uh, sure. Normally, I wouldn't approach a total stranger like this, but Gillen seemed so insistent. Please forgive my audacity. It's all Thank right. You. Gillen always tends to exaggerate, but in this case he sounded earnest, which worries me a bit. He said to tell you that the matter he needs help with is of the utmost importance to nice. the citizens of the Imperial City. You're to meet him at Seridur's house, which is located in the Temple District. He said all will be explained when you get there. Nice. That's all he told me to say. Don't worry, I'll go. Thank you. I'm sure he'll be pleased. I must go now. Good day to you. Yeah, this lady just like ran at me, so I had to start the recording. I have to find. Uh, I have to come this way to the Elven Gardens district. Um, because here we can go to Lortimer's house. Um, I just know this from having played the game before, so I do apologize that, you know, I'm not doing all the nice detective work, I suppose, that you all may, may be wanting from me. Ooh, nice. Nice. And I think we can just wait in here for an amount of time. He will arrive. He will be murdered. Let's wait like five hours. There he is. Feel instead. Secure location. No witnesses. Uh, I guess we'll take the key, and then we will leave. And actually, you know, while we are here, I want to... I want to do this. I keep forgetting how quick the, the load time, so I apologize. Uh, let's go ahead and do the uh, Virtuous Blood. Which is one of these houses. Solomon Grundy's house. Serdus's house. It's an honor to find you. Doing, buddy? When I heard you were in town, I just had to send for your help. Your reputation precedes you. Oh, allow me to introduce myself. I am Seridur. Hello. Likewise, sorry to send Gillen's wife to get you in that manner, but it seems safer if we weren't seen on the streets right now. If you'll come with me. Nice. Let's go. Splendid. Watch your step. You can stand there, dude. Thank you. Who the fuck? Hello? Keep going, dude. Nice to meet you. How are you doing? Welcome. You are now in the sanctuary of the Order of the Virtuous Blood. Nice. Few outside our circle have ever set foot in our hallowed hall. We are, for lack of a better word, defenders. We guard the city from an infestation that plagues it. We are vampire hunters. I'm oh, sure shit. you are familiar with these despicable beings. Oh, it's a good thing they become a vampire. As if they were cattle. Well, this group was formed to combat them. Alas, we are but three nice. old men. The best way to combat the fighting people. prowess of a vampire. We lack the strength to defeat them in battle. I don't. 
Our goal is to root out the vampires that live in our fair city. It's come to the Order's attention that Temple District resident Roland Jenserik is a vampire and has already claimed what... That's where you come in. We want you to slay this vampire and cleanse the city of his filth before he can feed... A few nights ago, I was roaming the city as I often do, looking for any signs of a vampire. I rushed into the back garden to find Roland struggling with a woman he'd been courting. I tried to... He threw his lover to the ground and turned his attention. I hid for a while and then returned to the garden. Roland was gone, and the... That's when I realized he was a vampire. I would start by searching his home. He hasn't been there for days, so it should be safe. Return to us here if you have questions. Sounds when good. May strike again. You, must... you must hurry. I guess I will be hurrying. So we go to Roland's house, get the nice, uh, nice things from there. It's a good thing that Roland lives uh, right across the street from these guys, you know. It makes life a little bit easier. You have my ears. Leave me alone, dude. It is illegal for me to enter this house. This, this house. Mm. Yeah, I cannot. What if we wait? You know, twelve hours. Okay. I should begin looking for clues. Handbill. Alright, don't want that one. Love letter to Ralphina. Rolling from his girlfriend in Manchester Cabin, where they're supposed to meet. East of the Imperial City and the Great Forest. I should head out there immediately. Alright, let's go. How you doing, man? Is there a quick way for me to tr fast travel there? I think Vilverin might be the closest thing to it. Oh, what? There's more of these guys. Fuck you, guy. What was that shit, dude? Why would they do that? Why would they do that? That's unbelievably rude. I did nothing wrong. Except, I guess, murder their other bandit buddies at Vilverin. Oh, hello, Mr. Wolf. Suffer Thorn! Time for jumping. This is the time that I wish I didn't have such a loud mechanical keyboard. Probably heal up. I need to sleep at some point actually to level up. Now that I look at it, um, go ahead and go to Roland's house. Should proceed with caution if he is a vampire. Nice. How you doing? Roland Janissaric. Go away. I know what you're here for. Just leave me alone. Yo, you look like a cool dude. Vampire? What? That bastard. Seri Dodez accused me of being a vampire. Me? Ha! Ah, he's the one who is the vampire. Nice. 
I can't believe him. I knew he would try and pin this on me. If only I could get my hands on him. I... What's going I'm, on? I've been hiding up here in this cabin and I forgot my manners. Try and understand. I loved her. I'd never harm her. Ralphina was the love of my life. Ooh. For the first time, I had a positive outlook. Oh, fuck. Then I saw Seridor looking at her with those coveting eyes. When she started taking walks in the garden at night, I became suspicious. I didn't want to lose her. I should have trusted her. Oh, Ralphina. Yes, I must let someone else know. That night, I decided to follow Ralphina. I wanted to see where she went on her walks. When she stopped in the garden and Serida stepped out of the shadows, my heart sank. Then suddenly he was upon her. She seemed entranced as he wrapped his arms around her and sank his teeth into her neck. I burst from my hiding place and attacked Serido. He became startled for a moment and tossed Ralphina aside. She fell to the ground and I heard a sickening crack as her oh, head struck fuck. a stone. That's intense. I was dog. no equal to Serido. He knocked me down in one quick movement. As I lost consciousness, I saw him laugh and then run away. Now I know why he didn't finish me that night. He wanted to cast suspicions on me instead. I panicked. By the time I awoke, her body was gone. I knew Seridor was a respected member of the community. They'd never believe he was a vampire. I retreated here to the cabin to collect my thoughts. Nice. I suppose you I, uh, I'm not gonna Thank kill you. you, dude. I'm happy you gave me a chance to explain. So what do As we do know, then? I know about Seridor and his secret order. What better way for a vampire to hide than to pretend he hunts them? That's true. That you is may want to speak true. to Fintius at the first edition bookshop in the market district of the city. I know he goes there occasionally. Nice. I doubt that he's told Gillen and Greythroat anything, but you could always try. All right, dude. Remain leery of Seridor. He's much more cunning than you may suspect. So I need to go talk to Phineas from Phineas and Ferb. See what happens. Gonna take a, a quick sip of water here. Wonderful. Um. Now I think for the first time. Since starting this recording session, or not this recording session, but starting my entire Oblivion gameplay on the YouTubes. I'm Fintius, owner and proprietor. Uh, of I think I have to get this guy. I'm to, not really at liberty. Yeah. Say what you're going to say. In each attempt, you must admire both joke and coerce. Um, don't take too long because the NPC's disposition is steadily falling. So we start. Okay, so he doesn't like being admired. He likes boasts and he likes oh, jokes. Oh, that's great. That's really too much. Okay, so I guess uh, then I do like this. Well done. This. Don't and waste like your flatter. That You're one. wasting your breath. Dang it. Okay, so we start that one at the lowest. Oh, that don't. That really? might be ideal. There we go. Don't talk such rot. Uh, what if well I do done. something like I, that? You can't scare me. I have to get it this up to like a pretty high amount, I think. That's just talk, not now. I wish. Where'd you get that? That's good. Yeah, it's good. I wish I could hear these jokes too, man. I could just joke the whole way around. Um. Well. Don't. Is that? Where'd you get that? That's good. Nice. You... This is what? gonna be the best really? one. You can't scare me. Disposition maxed. What? What a thoughtful gift. All well, right, I guess. I get it. He's Sarah, still at sixty. He comes in from time to time. Usually it's when he's out shopping. He always comes in with a large amount of travel food in his bag. Nice. Then sometimes he buys a few books. I asked him once about it. And he said that he goes out of the city on business trips. Hell yeah. I think I overheard him once mention Memorial Cave to another patron of mine. But he never talked to me about it directly. Memorial Cave? Yes. It's outside of the Imperial City. 
I heard it's a place where many of the heroes from past wars are buried. Sort of a subterranean graveyard. Nice. I just assumed Serator had a relative that died and is buried there. Not many people go out there anymore as the route is dangerous. Nothing's too dangerous for this but guy. Serator is a stubborn one. <laughs> Takes integrity for a man to risk his own life to honor the fallen. I admire him for that. I looked it up once in an old atlas I had in stock. Here, let me mark it on your map. What a cool guy. See you later. Good day. Bitch. Good day. Why are you mad at me, dude? You like me. Um, I think now I go turn in this quest. Uh, just so I can turn it in because I do get Hello there. a nice, uh, nice thing from turning in this quest. So I think. I would like to turn it in if possible. Um, how you doing? And this also lets me sleep. Now that I think about it, the high elf there it is the shadow punch. swims in the maelstrom of darkness at the feet of and our gold. Because of the discretion you exercised, Captain Philida will not. Here is your reward and bonus. Both have been well earned. I am going to rest. I have another contract when. Yes, contract. Far to the west, there lives a fierce warlord and his company of loyal mercenaries. Yes. Excellent. Now listen closely. Nestled in the mountains to the west lies Fort Soch. It is the home of the warlord Roderick and his mercenaries. Sounds good. Roderick has recently taken ill. He now lies in eternal slumber, kept alive only by the daily administration of a powerful medicine. You must infiltrate Fort Such, find Roderick's medicine, and replace it with a poisoned bottle I will provide. But you must remain undetected. Okay. Whomever arranged this contract wants it to look like Roderick died from his illness. So discretion is essential. Attack no one. Be seen by no one. Nice. If you are detected, the poisoning will fail. And Roderick must be killed in some other manner. That will, of course, forfeit your bonus. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. Uh, this quest is also not very easy. So I think I'm going to level up. And then we will go from there. A bed. Sleep for... I guess like... 20 hours that's a nice nice rest here you know wake up at 9 a.m. agility speed strength the usual and there we go we are now what level 5 level 5 progress to the next level not a lot I would like for it to be more um, I am also going to be doing the this quest first. Memorial Cave. There you are. Welcome, oh God, welcome. it scares me every time. I think he's gonna fight me. Uh, but that is gonna do it for this episode, guys. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.